I'm John Dowern. I'm the present farmer here at Cahar Connell, and our family are here on this farm for nearly 400 years now. There was 33 children in the school when my eldest boy went there. There's three of them left in the area now, the treatment farmers, and there's two others have houses in the area that works. They work outside of the area, all the rest are scattered to the four winds. The Pipola Brown Dolman is just up the road for us. There was a certain floor of tourists there, and I figured you shouldn't have all your eggs in one basket anyway. So if we got extra revenue in, like from the tourism, that I'd be able to stay and Paul would be able to take over the farm so the two families would be able to work. We linked up with GMIT. They did the initial research for us to get to, to do the AV that we have here and the, and the initial research. That was enough to get us open, but there was no history with the fort itself. And the only way to get the history was to dig it out of the ground. Now, if you want to do an archaeological dig, the cost of that is €25,000. So the thought was then that we set up the International Field School. We had to get the accreditation from the University in Galway. So we had to run a couple of digs in 2007 to 2010 just to show we could do it. And we, run, we ran one then in 2010 where we got the students that come from America and Canada and do a dig and the NUIG agreed after that to give us the accreditation for the school. So now the students come, mostly American, America and from Canada. We get the odd one from Germany. We had, we had one or two from Australia. We, we're forging a link at the moment with Denver University and we had three professors over. We showed them around for three days. The innovation here really is, we're the only fort that's open and trading for tourism. We're privately owned. The second thing here is, when we do the excavation, not alone has it an effect here, it, it is effect countrywide. I think we could do a good bit better. So when I saw the opportunity come up, I saw the innovation as a real plus. I think if we could get enough of help with, it, with marketing, we'd make our own money. That's what we need. It's a big jump, guys, to come from farming to here.